Sup YouTube family, sup Phoenix gang, it's your boy King Abe. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys an easy 20 pips a day scalping strategy that you guys can start using, especially if you have a small account. So if this is your first time on my channel, and if you find value in this video, all I ask is that you give this video a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and turn on the bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my future videos. Now without further ado, let's get this video started. For this scalping strategy, we're going to be looking at GBP, JPY, and we're going to be using this strategy on a five minute time frame. And this strategy that I'm going to be showing you guys today, we're only going to be using this strategy to target 20 pips a day. That's the goal for using this scalping strategy. But before I actually get into today's video, so if you guys want access to my signals on Discord, the link is going to be down below in the description so you guys are going to see the link down below in the description if you guys want access just click the link down below in the description so now like i told you guys earlier we're going to be using this strategy to get 20 pips a day that's our goal we get our 20 pips and then we're out of the market <coughs> excuse me guys now if you guys look here on my chart i have three moving averages here this is a moving average exponential not simple so make sure you add it moving average exponential onto your chart and to add this onto your chart you go here to indicators it's just set for moving moving average exponential and once it's once it pop, pops up just click on it three times and then you can have your first one you set your set first one to 55 I have the 55 EMA, 100 EMA, and the 150 EMA. These are the three indicators we're going to be using for this strategy. Now, to use this strategy, for example, if we take a look at this buy position, when we want to take a buy, buy position, we need to make sure that price is actually above the three EMAs. So that's the first confirmation that we need to be looking out for. Now, once we have price above the three EMAs, now what we need to be looking for now is for more confirmation is we need to look for our resistance zone. Now, if we take a look at this bar here to the left hand side, we can see that previously we had a resistance zone. So we can see here that we previously had a resistance zone here if you take a look at this to the left hand side price just couldn't break this resistance zone so now eventually we had a breakout here and price reject we rejected and then came back down but we had a rejection here at the 150 ema so now we're looking to take this buy position right over here in this zone we're looking to take this buy position here now but to take this buy position i'm going to put this in replay mode and i'll show you guys where your entry is going to be because we need a break break and close above our resistance zone then we need to see a retest and then we can get in a buy position so let me put this in replay mode and i'm going to show you guys where your entry is going to be so let's start from right here and let's see where our entry is going to be so we have the retest right here now we're waiting for our entry so let's keep looking now now we have our entry right over here we're going to have our entry right here at this bullish engulfing candle right here this is where our entry is going to be and we can have our stop loss right below this zone here we can target 16 pips right here and then we'll have our 20 pips now we can target our 20 pips target our 20 pips so let's 
So we'll target our 20 pips right there. Our risk reward ratio is one to three. Now let's see how this trade played out. Right there, we've got our take profit smash right there for 20 pips. Stop loss 16 pips. Risk to reward ratio one to three. So this is how you use this strategy to take a buy position and you get your 20 pips and you out of the market. Now let's take a look and look for more examples. Let's see here and find more examples here. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, let's see here. I just gotta fix this real quick. So, like I told you guys earlier, once we have price above the three EMAs, we just gotta keep looking for a buy position. Now, for the buy entry, I showed you guys earlier, we have the buy entry right over here. Now, as long as price stays above the three EMAs, you only need to take a buy position. Now, if you're trying to take a buy position and price closes below the 150, the 150 EMA, if price closes below the 150 EMA, now your buy position is no longer valid. It's time for you to start looking for a sell position. But over here, we can see price actually rejected the 100 EMA. Now, the, the fact that price rejected the 100 EMA, this is letting us know that this was a pullback. And now we're about to see a bullish continuation. So you could have had your entry right over here. And you would have definitely be able to got your 20 pips right here. So let's say you have... So let's say you got in the trade right here, you got in your trade right here, we can have our stop loss right below the 100 EMA, we're looking at 15 pips and you have your take profit obviously for 20 pips, you have your take profit for 20 pips right there and you definitely would have won this trade and you had a very good risk to reward ratio which is 1 to 3. So, now that's another example so as long as price stays above the three emas we only looking to take a buy position and we can see we had a uh, we can see for this buy here we had a rejection here rejection here and you could have had your entry somewhere at this area right here and you target your 20 pips right there and you would have won this trade as well to so confirm let's just take a look you got your entry somewhere over here, your entry right there, and you have your 20 pips take profit, and your stop loss can be below this zone right over here for 15 pips, and you have one to three risk reward ratio. So this is how you use this strategy for a buy position. Now let's go ahead and look for a sell position real quick. Uh, let's see here. Let's look for a sell position. Okay. Now, for a sell position, once we have price below the three EMAs, now it's time for us to start looking to take a sell position. But before we do, before we actually do that, we need price to close below this uh, support zone right over here. We need price to close below our support zone that price created. Now, once we have price below our support zone, we need price to break our support zone and actually close, it, close below our support zone, and then we can get in for a sell position. So let's put this in replay mode and let's take a look and see where our entry is gonna be if we're trying to take this sell position. So let's take a look. Now we have the retest right there. Now we now we just waiting to get in our trade. Now over here we will have our entry right here. Once price actually breaks this week right here, now we have our entry right there, and we can have our stop loss right up right above this. 
support zone here we're looking at 16 pips and we can target our 20 pips we can target our 20 pips right there we're looking at one to two risk to reward ratio now let's take a look and see how this trade actually played out right there we got our take profit smash 20 pips stop loss 16 pips risk to reward ratio one to two so this is how you use this strategy for a sell position now let's see if we can find more examples let's look for more examples let's see here let's look for more examples so now as long as price stays below the three EMAs we're only looking to take a sell position and we can see here we have this rejection price rejected the 55 EMA you can have your entry right over here even though you rejected it again the second time that was just more confirmation that we actually still in a downtrend and this was just a pullback now you have your entry right there you have your stop loss right above that zone right there and you can target your 20 pips and we're looking at one to four risk to reward ratio and obviously you would have won this trade as well so as long as price stays below the three emas you're only looking to take a sell position and as long as price stays above the three emas you're only looking to take a buy position so guys this is exactly how you use this strategy to get 20 pips a day and then you out of the market so if you guys find value in this video all i ask is that you give this video a thumbs up smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my future videos thank you guys for watching god bless you all and i'll see you guys in my next video